Glad we can finally get those larger storages. Yes. And the larger storage is here too, which by the way, we are full up on storage now. I want to get the larger storages here. But that's going to cost 80 planks. That's pretty spendy. In the meantime, we're just going to keep on um, using some more of these storages. I need another place to put these storages, however. I've said storage so many times, it's losing all its meaning. Um, there we go. I'm just going to slap it back here for now, and then we're going to have the path for it. There we go. Just slip it back there for now. We're going to end up relocating a lot of things. Relocating houses, storages, moving a lot of this stuff around. These houses right now are built on green land, uh, farmable land. I want to move them up here eventually, but we need stairs in order to get there. Have I unlocked stairs yet? I haven't. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that because I'm going to want to start building stairs. And as a matter of fact, I could start building stairs now that I've unlocked them. And I'm going to build a stair pathway up here. There we go. We can start to chop down these trees now once they build these. So this game is like SimCity, but with farms and beavers. Um, kind of. In SimCity, you don't, like, the difference is you're actually building a city in that. And once you put down a building, the building isn't actually doing or producing anything, really. Um... In this, you need to build, like, the lumber mill in order to unlock the uh, gear shop, which then unlocks the shredder, which then unlocks new technologies. So there's a tiered system. But there's similarities. Sure. Okay, and... Okay, we got one unemployed, which is perfect, because I need one beaver to come up here and start chopping down these old trees. And these are old birches, so they're only going to give us one log. But you know what? At this point, any wood's good. I'd say closer to Banished for Beavers, but it's Banished Light. Yeah. If, if you've played Banished, then you'd get the reference. So I've probably already been asked about how it's been fingered. Fingers are a lot better. I showed it off earlier, but uh, that's it right now. It's in its little sleeve. Um, it's doing a lot, lot better. I'm in physical therapy right now because uh, I, I haven't bent it normally in 10 years. So uh, my brain sort of forgot how to use it regularly. And I have to be taught again how to how to use my finger. But um, it's good. I mean, basically, I just can't type anymore, <laughs> which stinks. Um, I can hit everything but hitting the the shift tab control all all that stuff impossible so i typing is laborious all right there we go we're actually gathering resources now good 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 our first crop of trees is growing in here it's gonna take a while to plant all these trees to the point that i think i want one more forester out here to help with the job build one more forester opposite this Oh, I got a baby running in the room. You go take a bath. Mwah. Bye. Hang in there, Rick. Your brain will learn again. Thank you, Igel. I appreciate the uh, your your confidence in my fingers' abilities. Because right now it's so stupid. Such a stupid finger. Eric, what's my favorite stunt moment? Oh my god. I mean, it's so hard to pick a favorite stunt moment. We just did our um, our 50k reaction video and um, reacted to some of your guys' favorite suggestions. And uh, honestly, I, I think one of my favorites is probably the first time we played Don't Starve. And I burnt down the... Uh, <laughs> I burnt down the base that we'd built. But, I mean... The icing on the cake was the fact that everything was burning, and uh, I think it was Ash and Jazz who were still alive, and they were trying so desperately to save everything, and Jazz is like, no, it's okay, we can rebuild, we can rebuild, and just as she's saying that, the deer clops comes in and just smashes everything and wipes out Ash and Jazz. Uh, we were so new to the game that we had no idea what the deer clops was, and uh, we weren't expecting it at all. But that was just like such a genuine moment of like, 
hilarity and just complete surprise for all of us. I think that's still one of my favorites. Okay, cool. I built my other uh, forest right here. Good. So now we should be able to build some more forestry business out here. And you know what? I may as well just use this area as a tree growing area as well. You know, it's not doing anything else. There we go. Cool. Like so. Okay, my log pile is actually full now. This is a good problem to have, but it is a problem. Because I'm going to need another area to store wood. As a matter of fact, ooh, you know? Rather than have my, uh, my beavers farm wood out here and then haul it all the way back here. Maybe using a little bit of this space as wood storage wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, you know what I'm going to do is uh, delete this little area that I just put in. And let's do a wood storage area right here. There we go. Yeah, because these things can only hold 180 logs. So we're going to want to get more storage for that. The 500k video told me why I haven't seen a season 5 for DST. It's, you know, it is a hard sell. Convincing everybody to get back into that game. Um, I think we have all sort of hit a ceiling when it comes to our ability to play Don't Starve Together. That coupled with the fact that there's a, a lot of people who have strong feelings about the game. It's a beloved game. People... Um, often comment, you know, on our abilities or lack of abilities to play the game. Um, and it can be discouraging. But um, we, we've played it four times, and I think we've just reached a point where it's just like we can't do any better than we've done. And to do better than we've done is to play the game for even longer. And a lot of those series go like 40, 50, sometimes 60 episodes. And committing ourselves to a series that's that long... Um, it's tough. So, um, like for Ash, I know, to, to be candid, you know, he's like, if we do another series, I want to be able to show off some unique thing. So he's waiting for some amazing update um, that's going to uh, allow us to have a more unique experience. But the fact is, with these updates for the game, um, a lot of the content is late game content. So um, it's just hard for us to get back into it for all those reasons. And to, yeah, he, you're right. To be honest, there's so many good games at this point, it seems worth it just to play other things. That Yeah, I mean, like... And that's the problem with having a series that goes on as long as Don't Starve does, because we only have so many spots on our calendar to um, put out episodes. And so when um, we're stuck playing one game for months on end, then we're not playing other games. So uh, it's it's sort of a balancing act. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, everybody seems to be employed, great. Um, we done chopped all these trees down, so I don't need these lumberjacks here anymore. Take you out, and you know what, I don't need this lumberjack either. That's gonna save us two jobs right there. Um, this little guy's hungry, he needs to get some food. Why haven't you been eating there, buddy? And you can see this is the first time I've actually clicked on a beaver, but look at you can see stats. Um, they can get knowledge, spirituality, all this stuff. Eventually we're gonna unlock some. Some things uh, like leisure, a temple we can unlock, which will help with their uh, spirituality. There's things that we can uh, increase knowledge and awe. That's just the happiness of these beavers. And I think when they're happier, they're um, more productive. So we'll get to that. We've only been going for a little over an hour now. So we've got lots of time to grow. Um, and oh, we're a day away from a drought, but we're not going to worry about it too much this time. Because we built our dam, and we're prepared this time. However, I am going to um, run out of power. And that's just something we're going to have to get used to, I think. Uh, I'm going to build some more production stuff over here. So what we can do for now is... Let's put down some platforms. I'm going to put a platform here, here, and here. All right. We're going to build some more production stuff out here. I'm going to build it down this way and just build platforms in the water rather than build it up this way. Because I've got some plans for this area, I think. Future plans. 
The temple of our wooden mistress. Yeah, I wonder what uh, the god of the beavers is. It's got to be a pretty cool beer. Uh, pretty cool god. Okay, so both of these are almost full again. My goodness. Okay. I think that that's a sign. We're definitely ready to get some gears going. Unfortunately, we won't be able to build any gears this time around because um, we're going to run out of power. But uh, there we go. The, the river's dried up. We want to make sure. Turn off the pumps. Since the water is finite now, we don't want to suck all of it up. It's dried up here. But you can see we've retained this water here, which means that we've retained all of our crops. And this will eventually dry up, and so we'll lose a little bit of tree coverage. But those will last the three and a half days that this drought's going to last, so that's not too bad. Okay, so gear shop number one is going to need 25 planks and 15 logs. We got it. But the thing is, this thing is going to take 120 horsepower. Which means we're going to definitely need another water wheel. So the water wheel... We're just going to go ahead and put that one next to this water wheel. There we go. <laughs> what religion would the beavers create? Mahogany? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good actually. <laughs> uh, okay, now that I've built this staircase, I talked about how I wanted to build my houses up here, and maybe now's the time to migrate the houses up here to open up this space down here. And uh, yeah, if we do that, I think what I'm gonna do is. Let's see. I think I'm going to build... Because we have plenty of wood. And they're not doing too much right now while we're waiting for this thing to play out. Um, how many houses do I have? Okay. I have nine houses. I'm going to start with these houses. And because I don't want the population growing as these houses are built. You know what I can do is just not build any paths to them. And then I'll delete these houses and move them up here. Shouldn't they measure it in beaver power? You know what? Maybe there's a world where and like the horses are alive too, you know? Like humans died and this is where the beavers live, but if you go like out to the desert, there's like towns that are entirely run by horses. I could see that. Okay, so we've got 125 water. We're going to keep an eye on this. If we do run low on water, we can start pumping the water out of desperation. Um, but we should have enough water to get us through. Okay, and then once we have this, that'll give us... Um, and what's nice about this, I'll, I'll show you. Right now, our demand is 220 horsepower. Each water wheel gives us... Uh, what is it? 180? Okay, so yeah, we're going to have enough. But it's nice that when the, it's producing power, it shows you how much you're producing versus how much the demand is. So right now we have 220 horsepower. And right now we're producing, what, 360? So we got a little bit of room to grow. And now that we have access to stairs, we can start to build upwards with our colony too. So I'm going to do that. We're going to start building upwards. We can uh, put stairs down. What's cool is uh, we can mirror the houses. So what I can do is um, do the mirror. And since we need to build nine houses up here, I can do... Let's see. We have uh, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And then we build a staircase up here. And then... Build paths like that. Ha ha. Okay, so we have three up here. So what I'm going to do is quickly do three like that. And then I'm going to delete four down here. There we go.
And just like that, beaver condos were invented. Yeah. They're becoming just like humans, and I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay, so we only have 0.3 days left. And once again, it looks like we had just enough water. So I'm going to go ahead and flick those back on. Uh, we'll be able to start producing our gears now. Which will give us our larger water storage. And we can start to pump a little bit of extra water. Once we're going to get that larger water storage, we'll want to pump a little bit of extra water. So, put that in. I gotta say, one thing that... I don't want to say bothers me about the game. Something that I hope that they, they change um, as the game is updated. Is right now, when you delete things like this, you don't get resources back from them. And that's a bummer to me. If you did want to rearrange things, the cost of doing that is pretty significant. Um, I hope that in the future, uh, they rebalance that a little bit. Because it does bum me out that, uh, I mean, even if you only got half the resources back, I feel like getting some resources back would would be adequate or fair, you know? You can see here what I was saying. Yep, so we got 360 out of 220 horsepower. So if I wanted to put one more gear workshop here, eventually I could. All right, so we got seven. Now we just need two more. All right, storage is looking good. Tree farm's looking awesome. We got lots of logs saved up. Food's looking good. We got our first gear made. Okay, so that's great. So let's go ahead and unlock our water tank here. And we're going to need 20 gears per water tank. You can see they're massive. It's going to take a... It's going to be two by three. So we're going to need to delete a row of this. I'm going to wait until they harvest these carrots before I take it out because I don't want to waste that food. <laughs> Heckin' landlords making you move because you want to renovate. It's, it's true. I know that, that's 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 funny, but it's true. It's funny because it's true. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is what our little neighborhoods are going to start looking like from now on. Got our little houses like that. That's cute. Then we'll just go ahead and mirror that on the other side once we're ready to grow. So I did put one additional house in. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. There we go. We got two, one homeless because it looks like just in that little time, we did have uh, one baby born. But once this gets built, then baby will have a place to sleep. And then plus two other spaces. Um, looks like we need somebody to work that pump. So I'm going to take one beaver out of there. There we go. Stack Viz went over here. And uh, okay. Yep. You can see how slow it is to produce these uh, gears. They use planks in order to produce gears, but it's just a its a slow process. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more gear shop here. And we should have enough power for that. All right, we got two lumbers, two gears. Eventually, we're going to need a few other things. We're going to need paper mills. Paper mills are going to be needed to make explosives. I haven't unlocked the printing press yet. I haven't made books yet, but that's going to be good for knowledge. Um... And then we're going to need uh, the shredder, which is going to make metal blocks. And we're going to actually harvest the uh, metal from up here. Which, by the way, we could actually unlock this for now. There we go. And we can start a gathering the metal. Oh, I can't get close enough. What I need to do is build this a little bit more efficiently. Build a path out like this. Okay. If I build the path out like this, and then I put down this here. There we go. I can access metal from there. Okay. Don't have ready to work that metal flag yet, but eventually we will. Hey, Rick, a game like rounds also helps with skill ceiling. The base game is changing with the roguelike aspect and the mods that people have created for it to make the game fresh when it gets a bit dual. Uh... Which, what are you referencing? Are you saying that the the base game has changed or that it is changing? Sticks. Okay, let's delete that. There we go. 
I feel there's a hidden story hidden beneath behind the main build park of game like beavers evolved from humans got wiped out because yeah that's definitely it uh narwhal kid yeah i think that that's de you're you're definitely right like these old buildings these are the ruins of humans and then the humans died off but the beavers remained and now it's a beaver's world and we're just living in it once again we're gonna need another storage so i'm gonna put that storage there but now that we've cleared out this area look at that now the homes have been uh, moved out. So boom, we can uh, complete that. This area here is all nice. We can do more carrots here. We're gonna need more carrots. That was a problem I ran into eventually with the game is that um, there was just so many, I had so many mouths to feed that I didn't have enough food. So this entire area is gonna become carrot field as well. Um, for now, this can become carrots. I'm going to make all of this carrots here. So, let's see. Carrot starts here. And goes here. And then down to there. Okay. So, this is all carrots, too. Then I'm... Yeah. Then I'm going to straighten out this monstrosity there. That shouldn't be. Okay. Okay, um, so what do we got? We got five babies. We're just going to wait for those five babies to grow up, and once they do, they can take, uh, let's see, job-wise, we need a person on the scavenger flag. We need another in the gear shop, and that should be good. Okay. Okay. Seven hundred food? Yeah, you just wait. That ain't nothing yet. We're gonna get so much more food than that. What I'm gonna want to do is unlock this large warehouse soon. And as a matter of fact, um, my science. You know, I could put in another. I'm gonna need another science because we're generating science a little slow now. I'm gonna put in another science right here. And oh, there we go. Perfect. Yep. And I've got an available. Uh, Beaver to work the science shop too. Kasud is gonna go in there, start working it. Yeah, right now the real limiting factor of getting all of the food is just going to be um, having enough. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, it's gonna be having enough um, beavers to harvest it. So I'm gonna even do another uh, farmhouse right next door to this one just to make sure I've got enough beavers on hand to harvest it. And let's see, gears, I'm at 13. I think I said I needed 20 in order to make my barrel. I do. So, we're gonna want to... I don't want to delete these and then waste the water, but I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna end up doing that. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna put big old barrel in here. There we go. Make sure we got our path run into it. There we go. So that car that carries 300. This alone carries like twice as much as these two barrels do. So these things are super helpful. That's going to definitely prevent us from uh, dying of thirst. Stickman Steve, you got to go? All right. Take it easy. And there we go. Oh, you know what? Now that I've got that little path, I don't need this one. That one's redundant. And that's a spot that I could be growing carrots. And you may have noticed that there are other um, veggies that we could be growing. There's wheat, there's uh, potatoes, and there's carrots. We will eventually start to be growing other veggies. But for now, just carrots. Just carrots. Nothing but carrots. All right, so things are going pretty smoothly. I got to say, last week when we played, by this point, I had wiped a couple times. So, um, pretty happy with our progress so far. 
And yep, we just need four more gears. Once I get four more gears, then this thing is donezo. Um, right now, I don't have a worker to work this area, which is yeah, it's something. And I'm going to go ahead and build one more house. One more house. There we go. Log-wise, we got plenty of logs now. To the point that I may need to build yet another log storage. Don't forget to wipe. Just don't wipe. No, do wipe. Well, it depends on what we're talking about. In video game parlance, don't wipe. But in day-to-day -day parlance, definitely wipe. Okay? Definitely wipe. I would say get a tushy, actually. Once again. Alright? It's free advertisement for tushy. Because they have yet to call me. Imagine just eating carrots all day, every day. You would turn orange. It's a fact. You would turn orange. Be very, very odd. Okay, I got my other storage built. Great. Oh, yeah. Now I've got uh, eight different beavers out here harvesting. So now I can actually split the uh, duties. Half are on priority planting. Other are on priority harvesting. I can actually do one more row out here now. Um, there we go, because of the position that I just put that in. And, of course, I could plant carrots over here, too. And you know what? I may as well take advantage of the carrots over here. Why the heck not? Take advantage of this area, too. There we go. I'm going to leave a little bit of space for growth there, if I need it. There we go. And now it looks like we have three empty beds in this lodge that we just put in. So we got a little bit of area for growth there. And I'm looking here. Looks like in the district center, we could still use another worker. And uh, other than that, everything is full as far as jobs go. If I look at the gear... No, I take it back. The gear workshop needs one more person as well. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to take... Uh, there we go. I'm going to take a couple people out there. One person should go to the gear shop now. Oh, you know what I just realized? Nobody's going to the gear workshop because I don't have a path. There we go. Some of you guys may have been, like, yelling at me about that. Rightly so, but there we go. 